In part one, we started with our Polaroid Super Shooter camera. We stripped it down and added a tripod mount. I use the uh, quick release plates, and because of the constraints of the body, I'll have to mount the plate backwards and therefore mount it on the tripod backwards, which is fine. The actions are all still the same. Yeah. In this part, we'll make them out the pinhole, fabricate a quick shutter out of tape, and time permitting, test the camera with film. Sketching out an idea about making our pinhole. Suppose that this is the profile of our needle point under a microscope. The diameter of this needle is just over half a millimeter. The diameter hole we need for this camera is about a third millimeter. So we need to figure out a way to stop it somewhere down halfway between the point and where it goes to its maximum diameter. So suppose this is our point. We'll need a hard surface that will stop the needle from going any further. We'll need something between our brass stock and our hard surface, which is going to stop the needle from going any further. And here's how this works. Take a piece of notebook paper, fold it in half, fold it in half again, and fold it a third time. Place that on your hard surface. By folding the paper the way we have, the thickness will give us the correct depth for a needle and the correct diameter for a pinhole for our aperture. Take your piece of brass stock or your can section and your needle and press firmly with a little twisting action. Carefully lift the needle. Sand it. Place it back. Locate your hole again. Just a little firmer. Sand again. And one more time. Take the hole. And press again. Notice I press the needle from the same side each time. And I always sand it the back side each time. And there you have your aperture. Wipe it down with a piece of blood tree cloth and alcohol. Take your front cap that we made in version 1. Make sure it's centered. Keep it down. Take your front cap on your camera body. And tape it down with your gaff tape on all four sides. All right, and there we have it taped down. Now remember, we have a hole in the bottom of this camera from our tripod mount. Take a couple pieces of gaff tape. I'll just place them over the peanut fastener. Additionally, to add a little friction or a little more friction surface on your tripod head, put a couple pieces of gaff tape. It's a rougher surface than the, than the illustration board. And this will help keep the camera from shifting around or spinning on your tripod head. If you're in a hurry to go out and shoot with this camera, the quickest shutter to make would be out of gap tape. Take a little lint so it's not so sticky.
or fabricate a shutter out of the single thick illustration board. And there we have it, a 73 millimeter focal length F210 Polaroid pinhole camera. That 73 millimeter focal length will make it the equivalent of a 28 millimeter wide angle lens on a 35 millimeter camera. Before we test it, make sure your rollers are clean. Pop out your rollers, with a damp cloth or paper towel, wipe it down, catch the corners where all the goop collects, follow up with a dry and pop them back in. Or if you're using one of the older gray color pack cameras, pop out the bar spreader. Open it up and wipe in between your bars. Close it, pop it back in. It's a little bright out yet to use the Polaroid 667 film. It's a very fast film. For conditions like this, I'd have to use neutral density filters. So I'm going to try the uh, Fuji 100, which is it's a 100 ASA ISO film in black and white. If you've never used this kind of camera, it's real simple. Open it up. Put your film cartridge in. Make sure your tabs are on the outside here. Close it down. Snap it shut. And pull the black. Now it's ready to shoot. Just as note, the angle of view of the camera will be a little wider than the viewfinder. I'm going to give this test a 10 second exposure. The 667 will have to come in another video. Alright, pull your white tab, pull your film. I'm going to give this a two minute development. It's pretty chilly out. While we're waiting for that, let me tell you about Worldwide Pinhole Day. It's one day out of the year where the whole world is invited to shoot a pinhole image and upload it online. You can find it at pinholeday.org. And there you can see past year's gallery. It's been happening every year on the last Sunday of April. For this year, it will be uh, April 27th or 08th. All right, there's our two minutes. Track it apart. And there you go. Instant gratification. See ya. You see it's not wide enough? Okay. Part three.